Tommy Marcano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. <sighs> Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of it. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here, this ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the place. He's gonna come after him, you understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcee Bennett. Alcee is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. <laughs> if he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcee's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Alcee? Mm, I heard about Sammy and Ellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. We're taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? <sighs> Lead the way. Jungle fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him. 
a half. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think you wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever call home. Christ. I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they just want to... Holy shit! You hit him! Where was I? He likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. He'll take you to time it. All right. I'll see. Who the fuck's this? This? This is Jack Nav Johnson. What's he here for? Fuck you mean, what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Locker room's down here on the end. Huh? Hang back, boys. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you, Neville? Where you at, out, C? All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, Elsie? New guy. New guy looks tough. My money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, Elsie. What's that? Do all you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> nah. So what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Go on, they're waiting on you. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Boma comes in at over six feet tall. Weighing approximately 220 pounds, this is Jackknife Johnson! Let me hear it, let me hear it! to start something. Oh, Motherfuckers oh, over here! Oh, I want to see blood!
Boom was a paper bag compared to the brawler. You gotta keep moving and don't let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it. Couple goddamn tomato cans we got here. Right, Fucking right. fight! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Motherfuckers? Well, yeah. So how do I beat him? You hit him really, really hard. Itch. Couple goddamn tomato cans we got here. Fucking fight! Itch. to attend to. Few niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. I'll mix some vegetable oil in. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. Work his way into every nook and cranny. That way when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. And you... You are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, <coughs> you be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your pecker burn. It's gonna curl and tw- <coughs> 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 Oh, motherfucker! Come tussle with a motherfucker. That's that, then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Work for some big company. 
Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Shouldn't listen to him. It's in the blood, you know. <laughs> yeah. You are who you are. No point arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. Gallery. Boys. Our blood's going down. Down. I 
Get that stupid son of a bitch! Son, take your whooping like a man.
Suspect lost. What happened to the money plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve? I don't recall. Lagan once told me he couldn't tell any other cheat. That the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness. But greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or a Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson. Another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. Is it over? It's over. The city is ours. Ain't no one gonna shove us off to the corner of the city anymore. We got a lot of ghosts between us, Lincoln. We do well to embrace them. Let them serve as a reminder of our successes and our failures. This last piece of the city goes to you, Cassandra. You've earned this and more. Sure thing. This will complement our other operations nicely. I know how hard it was losing Burke, but sometimes people do everything they can to destroy any chance they have for happiness. You did everything you could. Scaletta was always gonna flip on us. It was only a matter of when. Well, brother, we had it through. Wasn't easy, that's for certain. You made some hard choices in the process, but we stronger for it. I'll admit it. I had my doubts, but no more. You came through just as you promised. And I'm lucky to be a part of it. Don't know what Sammy would say seeing the two of us partnered up. But I like to think that he get it. Understand that we're looking toward the future. you and I need transportation. On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. Four wheels and an engine. You're set. Appreciate it.